Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. You can tell the excitement in my voice, guys. This is the video that is gonna transition us from autumn into our Halloween series. Guys, do you remember around two years ago I made this video? I had to look it up two years ago. I made this video with the little gnomes. Well, they were actually sent to me by a patron and I didn't realize at the time, but they are from Gemo Mello Molds. Now, you'll find these guys on Instagram and I'm showing you their website. They have molds for every occasion. Here's the thing, they are a wax melt mold company, but guys, wax melt molds work perfectly with resin as well. And the skeletons, they've got such a huge range of Halloween molds. Things like this are just ideal. If you've got things like a Christmas tree, I know, I know, people put trees up for Halloween. They have Halloween trees. So they're perfect for keychains, little gifts, fridge magnets, and decorations for your Halloween Christmas tree. If if not use them as they are meant to be used <laughs> and make some wax melts but this is my this is the little mummy mold that they sent me oh my gosh I'm so obsessed I'm just showing you the range they literally have everything because they're a wax melt mold company everything from new baby wedding cleaning father's day mother's day and oh my gosh i thought i'd actually take a look in their christmas section i know i know but listen christmas is coming we can't we can't stop it from coming i'm just going to show you some absolutely stunning christmas molds that they have i'm going to click in this in the christmas section it goes on and on and on. It just goes on and on and on. Again, they've got molds that would work perfectly well as Christmas tree decorations. And these are the little gnomes that I got from my patron two years ago to use. Guys, check this mold out. I am obsessed. Look at the price. £9.50. I'm not being paid to do this video, by the way. <laughs> Gemmo Mello just sent me some molds to have a play with, with absolutely no obligation. So yeah, that nutcracker, I might have to get my hand on it. If you missed the video, I'm going to link it here. But these are the molds that Gemmo Mello sent me going from autumn into Halloween. And I said, I'm going to use this video as like a transition into my Halloween videos. We have the Hello Autumn. It's like a pendant. You could use it as a tree decoration or just in your autumn decor. Then we've got the Mummy on the left and this one on the right is my favorite Buckle Up Buttercup. You just flipped my witch switch. I'm sorry, how cool is that? And then this one here, Laundry Today or Naked Tomorrow. Now, in today's video, I was toying with the idea of making all four because we are now leaving autumn going into Halloween, I've decided to just focus on the two Halloween. Now, hello autumn, I promise I will use that at some point, but today I'm just, I'm itching guys. I'm itching to get this thing moving into Halloween videos. Now the resin I'm using is the craft resin, all linked below with your code, your discount code as well is there and don't ask me why, we are off to a great start. I've already misplaced the footage. So I actually got my silver deco color metallic pen and I went over all of the raised surfaces in this mold. So all of the lettering, the witch's hat, the broom and all of the lettering at the bottom. I figured once I add resin, that's gonna make it silver when we demold, okay? Now, next up, we are using the Let's Resin Chameleon Powder. Now, if you've been with me more than six months, Let's Resin Chameleon Powder, it's time. <laughs> it's the time for this powder to shine. Halloween and Christmas is when this powder comes into its own. Absolutely stunning chameleon powder. If you're interested in that, I am a Let's Resin affiliate, of course, so everything will be linked below. Now, to fill these up, we all know that black works best on the back of chameleon powders. So I'm gonna be using my Vista Black Pigment in the Craft Resin. But what you see me doing here is just giving the mold a bit of a squish. The reason I'm doing that is because, yes, this is a wax melt mold. Now, when you pour heated wax, it is pretty much like water. So you're guaranteed that that is gonna get down into all of the nooks and crannies. And these molds are so detailed. They're so intricate. So I wanted to just pour a little bit first and give the mold a squish just to make sure that that resin is going where it needs to go because of course it is a lot thicker 
than melted wax. And how cool is this? Where do I see this, you ask? Guys, so many options. I've actually got two shelves in my living room that are pretty much Halloween all year round. He's a hubby, you know, he has his skulls and his witches potions and his all of the all of the jazz. This will sit beautifully up there. Equally, if you've got a tree that you decorate for Halloween, perfect size for a tree decoration. Alternatively, use it as a wax melt bar. <laughs> now, the silver pen didn't do what I wanted it to do. Now, bear in mind this mold was matte. So, even if I didn't use the powder, my resin would have come out matte anyway, and it's pretty much had a similar effect on the silver pen. So, I decided I'm going to go in Guys, when I tell you, oh my goodness me, if you ever get a mold like this that has an embossing in it, it's perfect to either use acrylic paint with it or do what I'm doing. Get your resin into a squeezy bottle with a teeny tiny nib and just pipe your resin in to all of the details on the mold. Now, it sounds fiddly, it's really not because I started off so neat, I was like, you can do this. <laughs> You can take your time, go slowly. The resin will automatically sink down into those grooves anyway. And and then it got to the point where I gave up. <laughs> I just gave up because there's so much detail in this mold, especially, you know, behind the witch's hat where it kind of like starbursts out. There was no way I was getting resin down into those and acrylic paint might have been the better way to go on this. But it's all good. It's all good because it all worked out beautifully. Now, I am using the Floating Pigment Powder in Silver by Just For You Online. I did show it on screen, but I skipped over it on the voiceover. My intention here was that, well, it's floating. So it's a floating pigment powder that actually comes to the surface of your resin. And I knew that once I'd poured the resin in, that powder would come to the surface and give me that metallic that I was really looking for. And this is where it <laughs> this is where it all just went crazy. This is where I gave up trying to be neat and I thought it's okay, we can do the scrape. You know, this whole this whole system here works no matter what. So I've just got my wooden lollipop stick and I'm scraping the surface of the mold of the piece just to make sure that all of that glitter silver has got down into all of the areas I need it to get down into. And then I wipe the surface over with a wet wipe and it works just as well. It's just a little bit messier, but I really wanted that silver to go down into all of those, that starburst detail. You just have to be careful that you don't wipe off too much. So there was a couple of places where I did have to go back in and be like, Okay, calm down, Claire. Don't take so much away. But this is what it's looking like the next day and it's fully cured and I'm loving it. Now to bring that chameleon powder to life, we really need to top coat it. Because like I said, the mold is matte. When you've got a matte mold, you're not necessarily getting the, ooh, you're not getting the all yummy kind of that chameleon color shift two-tone. So top coating it really is the only way to really make that pop and bring it out. So all I'm doing here is what you see, I just poured some resin right into the center of the mold. I'm using the craft resin again, and I'm using my micro brush tool to just drag it out to the edges, right to the edges, but being careful not to, you know, have it go over the edge. I was really trying on this one, guys, to actually, get a nice, chunky, delicious dome, as opposed to a flood coat. I definitely didn't want a flood coat. I wanted a nice dome that's really gonna show off the detail in this mold. I love this mold. I'm not even kidding. I know Gemo Mello are aiming at the wax melt market, but if you, re if you realize that, well, you all realize that most silicon molds, in fact, I'd say, all silicon molds, no matter what their use can be used for resin, then that just makes Gemo Mello even more exciting because the detailed molds that they have on their website, insane. Like the actual choice, you could be there all day. So yeah, I was just, I'm so in love with this. Anyway, I'm rambling because I'm so excited. This is what we are looking like once we have top coated. Make sure to get your heat on there and get any air bubbles out, making sure that you've got it to every edge. And now look at the chameleon. I'm obsessed, guys. I am ob 
obsessed and using that glitter resin that sparkle resin was the right choice now I did move on to the mummy but I actually used the remainder of that silver resin so you saw me mix the silver resin I used the remainder to fill up the bottom of the mummy and I am so sorry again because I don't know where that footage is listen it was a it was just one of those days I just think I got, had so much fun and yeah I don't know it's very unlike me to lose footage or to not be able to find footage but all I did was use that silver to go into every single little nook and cranny of this mummy mold and this is what it's looking like the next day I've top coated both of them they look absolutely beautiful I think I'm just obsessed with that witch's one the mummy is so cute and again perfect little decoration or you know a massive <laughs> massive oversized fridge magnet if you are not using these molds as um, wax melt molds sadly I got a teeny tiny little bubble in the belly just in the tummy of the mummy um but yes another day I will do better I absolutely love these molds let me know your thoughts again Gemmo Mello did send me the laundry mold and I'll probably save that for like maybe springtime when we're getting into the whole spring cleaning thing but do check out Gemmo Mello molds I am gonna link them down below the choice is insane and the prices I just think are also insane <laughs> I shouldn't say that too loudly basically get on there quick <laughs> absolutely stunning molds thank you so so much to Gemmo Mello for sending these over to me I would also say that they're so much fun to work with because they're they're full of character they're full of detail intricate detail that you can really get your teeth stuck into with resin so thanks again to Gemmo Mello I will link them below I hope you've enjoyed this video and the next video is full on full on official Halloween 2023. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I can barely breathe. I'll see you then. Bye.